Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about the PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard. And more specifically, I'm gonna to try to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is, what are some reasons that your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard will go over the limit? So if you look at your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard balance and it's negative, what causes that? So let's go ahead and talk about this. One thing I wanna let you know, guys, this is gonna be a really quick video, not a lot of information to go over, but I'll go over some very important details that'll end up saving you a lot of headache. And if you're not familiar with the PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard, just so you know, this is completely different than a PayPal account. This is a prepaid card, so you just buy these little cards at a local retailer. Once you buy the card, then you can load cash onto it multiple times because it's reloadable and then you can usually use it most places that accept debit mastercard but what if you log into your paypal prepaid debit mastercard account and it's overdrafted or over limit what are the causes well one of the most common reasons that your paypal prepaid debit mastercard is over limit is because of their monthly fee so i'm not exactly sure how much the monthly fees are on this I've had this one for about a year now and i believe it's 4.95 per month and when I signed up for this card, I put in the minimum amount, which is $20. That's how much I funded. And what happens is when you have money on your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard, once per month, they're going to bill the monthly fee. So as you can see, if I only put $20 on there, that will get eaten up really quick. And the thing is with these prepaid debit MasterCards, they keep billing the fees even though you are in the negative. So these cards are run by NetSpend. I'm not sure what the relation is between them and PayPal. So I know this account was going into the negative over limit amount. So I did contact customer service to see what happens with this account since I'm in the negative because I wanted to make sure that I'm not going to get added into some sort of collection account or ruin my credit. And the customer service reps were pretty vague about what happens. However, I did nail them down to an answer saying that when your account goes over limit because of the monthly fee, it's nothing that they report to the credit bureaus or to collection agencies. In fact, I went ahead and asked them to go ahead and close the account down just to avoid any more of a negative balance with them. And they said that I don't really have to worry about the monthly fees. However, if you decide to open up a new account with the PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard, it is possible that they will decline your next application. Because the thing is with these cards, when you buy them at a local store, in order to use them, you do need to register your name, your social security number, your date of birth, a lot of information. So if you go to open up a new account with NetSpend, then they will see this account linked to your social security number. And he told me that it is possible that they will decline your next account if that happens, if you've gone over limit with your monthly maintenance fee. He said it's not really normal that they would do that, but it does happen sometimes. Usually they're not gonna give you a problem, he said, unless you intentionally go over limit on this card and try to defraud your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard. So that's the first reason why your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard might be over limit. And the second most popular or common way that your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard can go over limit is at the gas station. And this is a pretty normal one because the way that gas stations run your transactions for your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard is a little strange. Usually what happens when you're there at the pump and you swipe your card, they're going to authorize this card for $50, sometimes $75. I've even heard of $125. And the reason they run the transaction for that much is because they don't know exactly how much gasoline you're going to pump. So they authorize a large amount. And then if you only pump $20, what happens is they push that transaction through for $20 and then the $30 from that $50 authorization gets put back onto your card. And that sometimes can take five to seven business days to go back onto your card, but it usually is taken care of. But the reason you might go over limit at the gas station with your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard is kind of a strange loophole on this. So let's say that you have $55 on your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard and you go to the gas pump and you swipe it and then they authorize $50. What that does is it opens up the pump and if you happen to have a large truck or some car with a big gas tank and let's say that you pump $80, Sometimes that transaction will go through. So you'll get $80 worth of gasoline, but your card only has $55 on it, which is plenty enough to open up the pump at $50, but not enough to cover your $80. So once you're done pumping gas, you just kind of go on your merry old way. Once they push the transaction through for $80, you will see a negative balance on your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard account. So that's another common reason why your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard can go over limit. Now, when I was talking to customer service, they did let me know that in this particular situation, they do expect you to pay back that negative balance because it 
you did benefit from the gasoline. And in a situation like that, if you do not pay that back, you're more likely to be declined on opening a new PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard or even a net spend prepaid debit MasterCard. So if at all in the future you do plan on having another prepaid debit MasterCard through NetSpend or through PayPal, then you probably want to go ahead and make a deposit to cover that negative overdraft balance. So those are the two ways that I know that are common to go over balance with your PayPal prepaid debit MasterCard. If you know a different way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.